channel hope everybody's having a phenomenal day um i'm trying to make sure that the lighting looks okay so for today's video i did wanted to do an updated coach bag collection i am missing two bags i can't remember where i left them but they're just like the mini lolita bags um i'll see if i can link them down below but those are the only ones that i have missing but i had asked in my previous video what kind of videos you'd like to see next and um, I don't know, I decided it would be fun to do an updated coach bag collection. Um, I've had more coach bags, but I've given them away. So this is what I have for now. And I do apologize if the background looks like a mess, but I just kind of threw everything in my bed. And I also have my dog sleeping over there. But I hope this angle looks good and the lighting is good. It's currently 6.02, so it's a little bit dark. So I'm just using a ring light. But I want to make sure that the video is not too long, so let's just get right into it the recent purchase i bought from coach was this bag and i will try to link down all of the bags that i have down below i know some of these were limited edition so i will try my best to see if i can find a used one or secondhand ones but this is the recent one that i bought i bought um like i mentioned i don't know the names of some of these so i'll just link them down below but i got this on the outlet and i got it in this really pretty gray color i saw it go viral on tiktok and i saw the brown one but it was sold out and i don't know any gray bags so um, it's kind of like a pretty bluish gray and it has like this um i don't know like gunmetal like dark gray color and i ended up getting this little keychain from coach as well I always like to add something to my bags just to make them a little bit more personal but yeah this is it looks like this and it's very spacious I've been using this bag uh, every now and then when I go out um, it's one of like my bags that I just have hanging in case I want to grab something smaller so I really like it like I mentioned I don't know if um, some of these bags they still have them but I will try my best to link them down below but this is the most recent purchase I have in my bag um the next one i actually i thrifted this so um there's a thrift store called uptown cheapsteak in south orange county it's a second store sometimes they have really good things and i was on my way um to check out and pretty much pay for the things that i bought it and i saw this behind oh i saw this hanging in the back wall and i asked the guy i'm like oh can you like show me the bag because i it looked good like it looked brand new and he showed it to me and it was forty dollars so um i don't know the exact name of this coach bag i feel like i oh just random junk in here but it looks like this and it was forty dollars like the condition of this bag this is actually one of my most used bags that um i don't know how the angle looks i'm gonna see if i can maybe scoot. um this is one of my most so I don't have a lot of space to work around with, so I'll try my best to show the bags. But this is one of my most used bags, those bags that it'll look together with every outfit. I'm usually a gold kind of person, but every now and then I'll get bags with silver hardware, which is this was one of them. And I just I love it. Like $40 for a coach bag. Um so yeah, I'm really, really happy I scored this baby. The next bag I have is this coach soft tabby i actually purchased this last year as my christmas present to myself i wanted to add a red bag to my handbag collection because i don't have one um and i've been trying to add a bag in pretty much every not every color but colors that i don't have but also just really good and pretty bags and coach is one of my favorite favorite designers of all time as you could tell i have i think i have a, quite a few bags from coach but this is a soft tabby in red and i actually got this during black friday last year um, i think retail price is like 300 dollars. i got it for 250 and i also did get these little dices last year do keep in mind that a lot of these bags and a lot of these charms sometimes they're limited edition so i don't know if coach still carries them and i also did get the bag with like a little monogram with a little J and then just a little shark and a little paw print for my dog but I actually haven't really I haven't 
um, touched this bag in a while, but I have it in my, I have a little shelf with the bags that I want to utilize for this winter slash fall. So this is one of them. It just really makes an outfit look good together and it just, it looks good, you know? Um, I really like it. So um, this is going to be one of my really used bags for this year. So, and also the color is really pretty. I love the soft tabby collections because I feel like as they wear out, they're going to look more expensive so next pack that I, the next coach pack that i got believe it or not i have not worn and i told myself that i was gonna wear it during the summertime which it's so bad but it's i think this is the i can't remember the name of this pack but i'll try to link it down below i don't know if had they have the pink color but i wanted the black one if not the green one or the maple color but they are all they sold out when i was trying to get one and since I don't own a lot of like color bags, I saw this on Amazon and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it because it's so pretty. I love the color. I'm not a big fan of pink. I don't own a lot of color in my wardrobe or my closet, but I always like getting bags with pops of color to just make the outfit look more elevated. But um, I did buy this during the summertime. I have not worn it, but I tell myself that I should wear it because... It's really pretty and I wanted to get a couple like a couple of like pink and white accessories to make it look pretty and personalized but I literally have the name of this bag on top of my head but I can't remember but it's really pretty and eventually I wanted to get the black one but um, I have other ba black bags that I use and I gravitate towards so um, yeah I really like it and it's a really pretty color other bag that I am obsessed with and I was so happy when I actually came across is this rogue bag. I do believe this is in their 25 size edition. And I always look at the outlet. I never I've never really bought in a bag, a coach bag retail price except for the one that I'll leave towards the end. But I saw this last year as well and I saw it on the outlet. And I saw that it was like around $2.50 and it, just the color, the patches. I think this is one of the limited Rogue collections. So it just has the NY patches and it's just so pretty. The color, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, you know what? I grabbed it. It's so crazy to think that I actually saw this bag a couple of months ago on the Coach Hassel section, which is like their beloved item secondhand. Remember, I purchased this for $250. I saw it going for $900. A lot of these bags, the, res the resale price for them, sometimes they can go up to triple of what they cost. So um, I don't plan on getting rid of any of these bags um, nor selling them. I just love them. Like I mentioned, this is one of my favorite bags that I own. And it's just so unique. The color of it, the size. It's perfect for literally like an everyday bag. And it just makes an outfit look really pretty i got a lot of compliments when i wear it out so this is actually one of the other bags that i want to gravitate towards this year because of the color you know and i haven't really used it but it just it's so pretty i mean these are my two favorite bags that i own um but i do love them for different reasons but i would say they're like my favorite bags so they're both gonna be the rogues i don't know what size these are but the first one is this yellow. Oh, it's so beautiful. So this was actually my sister-in-law's. And she had this for a couple of years. And every time I would see it, I just keep in mind for me, um, spending over $200 on a bag, it's expensive. I consider any bag over $200 a designer bag. I just, I know some people might disagree, but for me, $200 and more is expensive for a bag. But this bag, I think, I believe she got it like five years ago, four years ago. And just the size of it, the color, everything about this bag, I loved. So I remember when I first started breaking it at my job, I wanted to get a work bag. And I asked her if I could borrow it to see how, you know, it, it just, it's a perfect size. It's a little bit on the bigger side, but if, you know, it's good, it's sturdy, it's heavy, so... Um, she actually ended up selling it to me, which I was like, yep, I'll buy it. And I've seen this bag, I think, when it first came out, I think it was like $900, $1,000. I can't remember how much she paid for it. But I've seen this bag reselling for up to $1,200, $1,300. And it just shows you how people 
appreciate the brand and it just shows you that a lot of these bags are collectibles i mean i the bags that i have i buy them because i plan on keeping them and some of them i just buy them because you know they're, they're pretty but coach all of my coach bags i don't plan on reselling them or getting rid of them i want to keep them till the end of time <laughs> But yeah, she actually sold this to me and I used it actually for a couple of weeks. But like I mentioned, I always uh, like rotating my bags, but I really love this. This is actually one of my most prized positions in my closet and it just is beautiful. The color, the flowers, just the detail of this bag. I don't know if this camera is even um, showing it or making it justice, but it's beautiful. I and I've seen some other colors that they have. Um, I think I've seen a pink one as well, but it just it's beautiful. It's by reference on 5'2. Um, so yeah, this is a beautiful baby. The last bag in my coach collection. Um, it's another rogue, and this was actually a purchase by myself that I contemplating contemplated on for so many months because it might just be a basic color but for me i love black i just think black it's my favorite color black and white but black it just i know that it's just the more the most plain color out there but there's something about it that i love and this has been my dream bag um forever and i purchased this i think during the summertime and I contemplated, I went back and forth, back and forth on purchasing it because it's expensive. I think it was like close. Yeah, it was pretty expensive. Um, I'll, I'll link it down below so you guys can see the price. But I just, I needed this. Um, and I just purchased this as well as a work bag. And I actually used it quite a bit, but sometimes it would get a little bit too heavy. So I would just kind of sometimes downsize to a different bag. But I love everything about this bag. The pebbled leather the color the accents of gold the inside of the bag it's so spacious it comes with three straps it comes with a long strap which i don't like using because it just makes the bag really long um i always end up just using the shoulder strap or when i carry my bags i usually carry them like this but i love this bag it's like i mentioned this one and the yellow one and then my ysl hobo bag are my favorite bags and also my Ralph Lauren one. Those top four are like my favorite bags. And I own my Pullen bag. <laughs> I can't pick. But from Coach, uh, this is one of my favorite bags. And I'm actually going to switch to it today for work. Because I'm going to be so busy during the week that I need to carry other stuff. But yeah, that is pretty much this beauty. And this is the inside of the bag. I have a mess in there. And it comes with different compartments as well. Um, it's just a beautiful bag and um, definitely worth the price. I know, you know, some people might not consider this a designer bag, but I do. It was, it was expensive, but, but, but yeah, this is pretty much um, all my coach packs. Like I mentioned, um, I had a couple more that I always so pretty much that is my updated coach bag collection. I do plan on adding more in the future if I see one that I really like, but I don't have a lot of space in the closet because literally the top shelf is filled with clothes and then bags. So I don't want to overpack the closet and I've been trying to downsize little by little, but I do plan eventually adding more coach bags to my collection. I do have my eye on a couple of them, but we'll see as of now, I don't plan on buying any new bags that I let me correct myself I don't I haven't seen any new bags that I like uh the reason that my most recent purchase that I bought was a bag from an Australian brand it's called the horse I can always do also a review on that on that bag for a different video but I hope you all liked today's video I just I love seeing what's in my bag videos anything with handbags I love handbags and they're my favorite thing besides cars and cameras and phones and anything electronic but i hope you all like today's video and if you do please subscribe to my youtube channel don't, com don't forget to comment down below what 
it's your favorite designer brand and then also your favorite bag and don't forget to also turn on your post notifications so you guys get notified every time i upload and thank you all so much for the love and support and i will see you in my next video